Now, the teacher has decided that depending upon the capability of the student, he will teach yoga. You western people have made a monkey jump of this science of yoga. Okay, I can do this and I can do this. See how big a yogi I am. Do you know this science? Do you know why you have to put your head under the head? Do you know why you have to put your leg under the head? What is it doing to your body? Have you closed your eyes in that position? Have you seen the Bija Mantra on your Agya Chakra? Have you reached to the peak of that posture? No, that's not true. This science has to give you way more than what you know about figure correction, stress management, disease cure. I'm so sorry. For either of them, yoga is not the path. My master would say, teach yoga to happy people. I've been traveling all around the world searching for happy people. I get sick, depressed and doubting eyes. First thing now, I bestow you the knowledge of yoga. So there's a faith been developed between teacher and student. The faith aspect has come now. You can't buy faith. It's not available. You can't buy faith. Belief you can buy. But belief is not bought also. Belief is gifted. You are a Hindu because your family was Hindu. So you have been conditioned to be a Hindu. Your mother, father, grandfather, his forefathers have taught you to be a Hindu. Same as a Christian, same as a Baha'i, same as a Muslim. But yoga philosophy or in other words, for yoga philosophy, you don't need belief. Patanjali is neither atheist nor a theist. He's neither. He's talking about facts. He's talking about no rituals. I've seen in yoga schools atmosphere where it looks like everyone is dead. Now we will go to do Savasana. What has gone wrong? Let's do Savasana. Why do you create that melodrama around this science? It's not required, it's clean, it's neat, it's powerful, it's straight, it's clear. It's as straight and clear as it can get. That's why second Patanjali is not coming. Most of these legend spiritual teachers like Buddha, Mahavira, Muhammad have been legends. It never comes back. So now I'm talking about Atha Yoga Anusasana. Now the discipline of yoga. Before you start this practice of yoga, before you start understanding this philosophy, theosophy, understanding science of yoga, you need to find a teacher. Then only now comes. And a teacher who knows this science in and out who knows this science within, back of his head. He knows this philosophy as if philosophy is flowing out of him. And it is like, oh, I just met Patanjali. I just met Patanjali. And what I am going to talk in next 
this video is all about what is the art of finding a teacher? There's a very famous saying or a very famous Sufi story about a man who heard about a Sufi master. Very, very well known Sufi master. Very old man. Very old man. Eight year old man. Actually, I forget his name. This man, this young man, he is 27, 28. Why do you begin spirituality at 60, 40, 50, 80, 90, 100? Because you know your one leg is hanging in the graveyard. Research says that 80% of people who go to churches are really old people. Because they want a solace of heaven. Solace of heaven. Oh, I did what I could. I did what I could. But now I should pray. Now I should walk with God's will. Understand, my friend, this life is a platform of a railway station. This life is a beautiful platform of a railway station. Passengers keeps changing and going. Station remains the same. The railway remains the same. We are just here for 50, 60, 70, 80 or 100 years. Or maybe few people, 120 years. Exceptions. Exceptions. These are exceptions. What did they do to be 120 year old? If you do a research, you will see that they actually have followed a path of yoga, most of them. They have not been so unkind to this body. I'm not against muscle building. I'm not against it. It's a type of a body which you want to see. Yogis are not touching, teaching you six pack ab. Power yoga. Get six pack ab through power yoga. Come on, this is not that science. Go to a gym. We're talking about truth. We are talking about the ultimate goal of human life is to actualize, is to awaken. This is that science. What are you buying out of it? Flexibility? Go to gymnastic school. They will be more flexible. You will be more flexible than yoga. Every picture on the web I see about yoga is the most difficult picture. Oh, you can do this and I can do that. But that's not yoga, my friend. That's flexibility exhibition. If you can sit in a posture for two and a half hour, your asana part is over, which I will cover when I'll come to asanas in Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Now here I'm going to teach you, before you begin your practice of yoga, 90% of the people in the West, East, North, South of the universe is trying to create their livelihood through yoga. You go to India, you go to some university in India which gives you a certificate in three months and you become a yogi. You grow your hair. You look untidy. Yes, don't talk about Agora. You will again compare to the Agoris who have long hairs. No, 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 no. You can't risk your life like them. Sorry. 
You can just grow your hair. I am the living Aghori. I have lived Aghora life for 14 years of my life. No, 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 no. That's a different world. You can just grow the hair and look like them. But looks are deceptive. Looks are really deceptive. Back again to where I was talking about. This is a now, what I'm asking you, what I'm explaining you today is before you start the practice of understanding the science of yoga is to find a teacher, a complete teacher, a teacher who knows the know-how of the science, a teacher who does not only know the external yoga which we call his Bahiranga Yoga. It's called external yoga. Asan, pranayam, kriya, bandha, mudra. This is not yoga. This is like asking God one wish. I want to be happy. It's a larger wish. I want wealth. He'll give you wealth. I want a beautiful wife. He'll give you a beautiful wife. Happiness is what you have to seek for. Bliss is the word ananda actually bliss cannot be told ananda also because ananda is an experience bliss is still a feeling bliss is still a feeling it's still at physical plane ananda is the word ananda mai jyoti bhava when you bliss when you are completely within and the light engrosses you within, when the internal journey begins within. When the third, here, when you start experiencing the world within. Yada Brahmande Tatha Pinda. Whatever is outside, I can see within. And that is the science of yoga. So, before I start teaching you the science of yoga, I want you to understand, find a master. Not a teacher. Teacher only knows Bahiranga Yoga. And we are amazed to see, we are amazed to see, when Time magazine covered yoga in India, he had a potted belly yoga teacher doing Sirsasana. And all the beautiful practitioners of yoga have the perfect tab. We are not gymnasts, neither we are groomed to be gymnasts. We are not groomed that way. Teacher, no. Master, an awakened soul who has used these processes, these techniques. Because your brain will be a mudha. Mudha. Mudha means who don't understand. Mudha. Stupid. Level of understanding. Your brain could be questioning, logical. Or your brain could be inquisitive. Or your brain could be following. Or your brain could be seeing. You have to, a teacher has to bring a student to a darshan level. That's darshan science. It's a darshana. It's a darshana. It's a darshana. It's a darshana. A mudha first has to be brought to darshana. A logical mind has to first brought to darshana level. A positive mind has to be brought to darshana level. All this brain. So teacher, moment he looks at the student, he understands he's a mudha. Or 
विवेक मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ह्यूमन ब्रेन मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ व्हाट इज योर ब्रेन व्हाट इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ योर ब्रेन व्हाट इज योर एबिलिटी ऑफ द ब्रेन आई क्वेश्चन योर ब्रेन टुडे let me see the level of intelligence you have you are a scientist you are a researcher i'll prove you right now that you actually know nothing this is a watch speak a word more than what you one alphabet more than one word more than okay it's a leather it's a steel it's all known this is a clock this is this all known one word more one word more one alphabet more about what i don't know so it's a red information it's acquired knowledge your intelligence is a congress of the past your basic intelligence is just the congress of the past why can't you just think about it i give you a minute i give you a minute say one word more which is new to this object which no one has heard time everybody knows just go on talking go on that is the knowledge of vedant neeti not this not this not this neeti na iti na iti neeti 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 the end is the truth once i finish this i'll talk about vedanta any question you have regarding patanjali yoga sutra till i will be talking i will be able to answer you the moment i finish my talk i will not be able to answer you i will move to the next knowledge anything you have in your mind please put it up anything what you have but also understand related related don't question me what i am wearing don't question me how's my nose don't question me how's my ear don't question me how i speak irrelevant irrelevant on patanjali just on patanjali i'll be there to answer you next day in my talk or within 2 to 3 days back to the topic where i started that you to search a master before now how do you hear somebody to say now you do this for me now you really do this for me so there is authority there in the word patanjali talks about it's a clear authority it's a clear statement from a teacher to the student now you practice the discipline of yoga now i bestow you the discipline of yoga now i reveal you the secrets of yoga see the perspectives see how it's same so by most of the comment most of the people in the west tries to understand patanjali yoga sutra they start learning sanskrit no even if you know sanskrit you cannot understand patanjali you have to be yogi to understand patanjali 